something very strange is going on at the South Atlantic anomaly. It's in the core mantle boundary under Africa. We're getting stronger evidence that there's something unusual about the core mantle boundary under Africa that could have an important impact on the global magnetic field, says John Turdano, professor of geophysics and physics and astronomy at the University of Rochester. Using new data gathered from sites in southern Africa, University of Rochester researchers have extended their record of Earth's magnetic field back thousands of years to the first millennium. The record provides historical context to help explain recent ongoing changes in the magnetic field, most prominently in the area in the uh, southern hemisphere known as the South Atlantic Anomaly. We've known for quite some time that the magnetic field has been changing, but we did not know really uh, if this was unusual for this region on a longer time scale, or whether it was normal. This is what Vincent Hare says, who recently completed a postdoctoral associate appointment at the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences, EES, at the University of Rochester, and is a lead author of the paper published in Geophysics Research Letters. The new data also provides more evidence that a region in Southern Africa may play a unique role in magnetic pole reversals. Yes, that's what they're talking about. A region in Southern Africa may be playing a unique role in magnetic pole reversals. The magnetic field that surrounds Earth not only dictates whether a compass needle points north or south, but also protects the planet from harmful radiation from space, of course. Nearly 800,000 years ago, the poles were switched. North pointed south and vice versa. The poles never, have never completely reversed since, but for the past 160 years, the strength of the magnetic field of the Earth has been decreasing at an alarming rate. The region where this is weakest and continuing to weaken is a large area stretched from Chile to Zimbabwe called the South Atlantic Anomaly. In order to put these relatively recent changes into historical perspective, Rochester researchers, led by John Turdano, gathered data from sites in Southern Africa, which is within the South Atlantic Anomaly, to compile a record of Earth's magnetic field strength over many centuries. Data previously collected by Turdano and Rory Cottrell, an EES research scientist together with theoretical models developed by Eric Blackman, a professor of physics and astronomy at Rochester, suggests the core region beneath southern Africa may be the birthplace of recent and future pole reversals. The region beneath southern Africa, they suggest, may be the birthplace of recent and future pole reversals. Trudano says, we were looking for recurrent behavior of anomalies because we think that that's what is happening today and causing the South Atlantic anomaly. We found evidence that these anomalies have happened in the past, and this helps us contextualize the current changes in the Earth's magnetic field. European Space Agency and Hubble Telescope spokesman, Dr. Matthias Jagger, expands on its cause and the danger it presents, and he says that the reason for the anomaly lies in the Van Allen radiation belts. These two donut-shaped clouds surround the Earth and trap the charged particles streaming from the Sun and hurtling towards Earth from the depths of space as cosmic rays. That is part of our cosmic shield against potential harmful products. That is, the Earth's magnetic shield protects us from cosmic uh, uh, rays and uh, solar rays, harmful particles. He says, but just off the coast of Brazil, spanning an area larger than the USA, the Earth's magnetic field is at its weakest, and the inner donut dips even below Hubble's orbit to just 200 kilometers above the Earth's surface. This belt contains high-energy electrons, protons, and atomic nuclei. These particles are so densely packed that in one second, there can be 3,000 hits, quote-unquote, in an area the size of a fingertip. One of these energetic stray particles can easily hurtle through Hubble, change the meaning of an electronic message, and cause havoc. 
So for its own protection, some of Hubble's interior electronics must be shut down when transiting through the anomaly. High energy ionizing radiation is not healthy because it can damage DNA and induce mutations in cancer, not only in humans, but in everything living. Their researchers discovered that the magnetic field in the region fluctuated from 400 to 450 AD, from 700 to 750 AD, and again from 1225 to 1550 AD. This South Atlantic anomaly is the most recent display of a recurring phenomenon in Earth's core beneath Africa that then affects the entire globe. The magnetic field is generally is generated by swirling liquid iron in the Earth's outer core. It's here, roughly 1,800 miles beneath the African continent, that a special feature exists. Seismological data has revealed a denser region deep beneath southern Africa called the African Large Low Shear Velocity Province. The African Large Low Shear Velocity Province. The region is located right above the boundary between the hot liquid outer core and the stiffer cooler mantle. Sitting on top of the liquid outer core, it may sink slightly, disturbing the flow of iron and ultimately affecting Earth's magnetic field. A major change in the magnetic field would have wide-reaching ramifications. A magnetic field stimulates currents in anything with long wires, including the electric grid. Changes in the magnetic field could therefore cause electrical grid failures, navigation system malfunctions, and satellite breakdowns. A weakening of the magnetic field might also mean more harmful radiation reaching Earth and trigger an increase in the incidence of skin cancer. Hare and Tarduno warn, however, that their data does not necessarily pretend a complete pole reversal. Quote, we now know this unusual behavior has occurred at least a couple of times before the past 160 years and is part of a bigger long-term pattern, end quote, Hare says. He explains, however, it's simply too early to say for certain whether this behavior will lead to a full pole reversal, end quote. Even if a complete pole reversal is not in the near future, however, the weakening of the Earth's magnetic field strength is intriguing to scientists, Sir Torduno says. Quote, the possibility of a continued decay in the strength of the magnetic field is a societal concern that merits continued study and monitoring, end quote. The research gathered data for this project from an unlikely source, ancient clay remnants from southern Africa dating back to the early and late Iron Ages. As part of a field called archaeomagnetism, geophysicists team up with the archaeologists to study the past magnetic field. The Rochester team, which included several undergraduate students, collaborated with archaeologist Thomas Hoffman at the University of Witwatersrand in South Africa, a leading expert on Iron Age Southern Africa. The, Greek, the group excavated large uh, clay samples from a site in the Limpopo River Valley, which borders Zimbabwe, South Africa, and Botswana. During the Iron Age in Southern Africa, around the time of the first millennium, that is, a thousand, up to 1000 AD, there was a group of Bantu-speaking people who cultivated grain and lived in villages composed of grain bins, huts, and cattle enclosures. Droughts were devastating to their agricultural-based culture. During periods of drought, they would perform elaborate ritual cleansing of the villages by burning down the huts and grain bins. Quote, when you burn clay at very high temperatures, you actually stabilize the magnetic minerals, and when they cool from these very high temperatures, they lock in a record of the Earth's magnetic field, Tarduno says. This is from the Daily Galaxy, and it's on Bended Reality. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on 
not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.